behalf of all the family, I'd just like to thank you for coming out to celebrate Dan's life today. I'd like to ask you to just go ahead and lower your heads and let us just say a word of prayer. Father, right now I just ask that you comfort each heart that's hurt. Let your peace rest on each and every person here. Allow them the opportunity to hear, to hear what you have for them today as you whisper so far. Help them remember the good times, sad times, and everything that Dan has, has just brought into their lives. We ask it now in Jesus' name. I uh, pastor a small church over on the south side of Fort Wayne, and I have to admit that Dan never once showed up for service. <laughs> Might have something to do with the commute. Um, but Dan and I were friends. Dan and I grew up through elementary school all the way through high school, and then and went on. When Mary asked me to come and share this morning, I, or this afternoon, I considered it just a great honor. When we were talking, I didn't ask much about his home church. I didn't ask about the churches he attended here. One thing that really mattered was that he was a friend of Jesus's, and he had a relationship with him. I love the fact that we are gathered here today to celebrate his life and not a funeral. Funerals. No pastor likes funerals, by the way. Um, we're here to celebrate what he's done and then sharing the losses happened around, around with him. As hard as it is, this service is really about beginning the grieving process and allowing the healing to start to happen. It's not going to happen overnight. I'm not convinced we ever completely get over the loss of the love. But we need to also remember that Dan isn't gone. He's just moved. And he's in heaven. Where there's peace, joy, happiness, comfort. A place without any tears or sorrows. And yes, we're saying goodbye today. But we're not saying goodbye as in I will never see you. We're saying goodbye as if he was getting back in the car and headed back to where he was supposed to be. As I thought about this message, the Lord just kept putting 2 Peter 1.11 on my, on my heart, which says, And you will receive a rich welcome into the eternal kingdom of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. You know what that means? It means there's no moose standing at the front door telling him he's not allowed in. It means the doors were swung open. I kind of picture as if he was taking the final shot in a championship game. And his team has just won. Even if it's universal. The crowd lifts him up on, his, on their shoulders. They're dancing around. Everybody's high-fiving. And it's just an, a great experience that he knows he'll never forget. You can't high five. And all of a sudden, everything is won. And Jesus walks out on the scene, right and he grabs a hold of you by your hands. Mm -hmm. He says, well done. Mm -hmm. And the crowd mm -hmm. is 